Hey Jadad, it's uh, Steve, uh, new gamer. Uh, so uh, I'm going to new game. Bloody, that's my old one. Game changer, I should say. Sorry, mate. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have a little look at your base now. First thing first, obviously you're 27, so I think you probably know your shit. Uh, uh, downside that doesn't give me a lot to work with before you start upgrading but we'll have a little look at this figure here so attacks really really good uh, defense needs a bit of work I think so uh, 25% uh, about average uh, the good guys are getting in the 50s so uh, we'll try and keep more of what you've uh, earned if you will so if you're attacking obviously you're going to get um, metal uh, and the like um, but then obviously you could be losing it through the back door by getting uh, a lower defence, so we'll see if we can improve that for you. Uh, so have a look at your base. Let's see what we've got for you, bro. Okay, so uh, first glance observations is you're going to be very vulnerable from this left hand side. I could launch my tanks and machine gunners or mortar men or um, anything really. Uh, and take out your uh, infantry uh, and your helicopters before you even get them uh, launched uh, equally i can do exactly the same here from this hand side here take out your war factory might take a little bit of damage from um, the salvo certainly the, uh, the um, uh, real gun's not going to pick us up uh, that real gun there i could probably get rid of your um, war factory before that powers up but maybe i'll take one hit from it but ultimately that's your defense gone uh, so i could attack from left and right instantly and that's it all you've got left is turrets uh, which is then fairly straightforward uh, you've got minimal air power i know these missiles look like they're uh, shit up but they've only got two missiles on each one so if i put a set of reapers over the top of you then basically you're going to kill two of them and then the rest are going to be, uh, you know, uh, well, they're going to just destroy your base, really. Uh, once I take out um, these three here, uh, the machine gunners and your air defence, then everything else is just vulnerable to air. So pretty much I could give you a good knacking in settings, really. Um, so that's probably why your defence is, is low. Um, what I would suggest that we look at is uh, redo uh, your walls. Um, the principle of the walls is to keep everything in, uh, not just keeping everything out. Um, that means when your army men um, obviously spawn, your uh, vehicles spawn, they're stuck inside the walls. At the moment, if they do get a chance to spawn, which you probably will do, uh, then if I was, say, part over here, your army men had run towards us and I would just shoot the shit out of them and nothing had ha really happened to them. Uh, you know they wouldn't do any damage whereas if I keep them inside the wall then uh, everything gets condensed and everything becomes a bit more powerful if in doubt have a look at my burst and I'll send a video across uh, to help you with this one um, that's it initially the, the other thing you want to be looking at though is all, all these outside buildings here and here want to be equally spread because what that does is it takes it takes up or takes away all the spawn zones. So at the moment, I could literally, if I wanted to spawn here, and I'm straight in. I probably could get underneath this cell before it even fired. Uh, I could drop a couple of air attacks on that real gun and that real gun, and then that's it. I've pretty got much got machine guns. You want to force people to have to spawn somewhere here. And then uh, not only do your army men and your vehicles get a chance to spawn and your helicopters, if you've got them in defence, can't quite tell if you have or not from uh, here because obviously we're not live. Um, but yeah, basically um, you want to be raining death on them with your salvos and, and, and you're getting your real guns time, time to charge up by having players spawning on the outside. At the moment you'll be literally spawning right on top of you. And then you know you're pretty much game over, mate. So uh, yeah, need to have a little look at that for you. Um, be careful. Let's say level twenty-seven. You ain't got much I can work with. Uh, but I'm sure there's we can ring out a little bit of XP and see if we can get things upgraded. Uh, and we'll go from there, bud. All right. Um, keep in touch. Um, Alphas has passed you to me because apparently he's not get out of you. That's not great, mate. Because uh, ultimately that just means you get booted off Sog. So uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen, mate. Uh, you know, you're obviously a strong player. You've got good tap potential. We need to keep you in Sog. And not only that, mate. If we can get you really, really strong here or as strong as we can, then there's a good chance they'll take you into the next level of Sog as well. Which then you can um, develop and get stronger uh, and be a really good part of the team, mate. All right. Cheers for now. Tap.